See, it hears me, but... La, 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 la. Yes, that's impressive. Are you, are you a yeah. frequent weekly yeah, yeah, yeah. poster? I am. La, la, la. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. I have a question. Yep. I walk through this. Can I try to walk through? Why do you gotta walk through? Um, thing that just a, it's a good way to learn. This. It's a good Jeez. way to learn. It is. But I want to make sure everybody else is getting it too. Okay. So hold off on this. I will um get you to do one for me in a minute. But okay. So the first thing we need is something by itself. And I actually have both of these solved for y, where y is by itself in both of them. So that's good. That work is already done for me. And you don't have to have both by themselves, but it's okay if you do. So I'm going to pick one of them and figure out what y equals. In this one, y equals 5x minus 3. And I want to put that in place of y in the other equation. So I'm going to take this out of there and put this in its spot. Okay. So now this is going to say, whoops. This is my color coding. 5x minus 3 equals 3x plus 1. Okay, so still plugging it in for y, just y is in a different place than what you're used to. Okay, what would I do first to solve this? Okay. Take away the 3x. So I'm left with 2x. Minus 3 equals 1. Yeah. And then? Then you add. add. Okay. <coughs> so 2x equals 4. Divide by 2. 2. x equals 2. Okay. Where do I go with that now? Plug it into the equation. Which one? The y equals 5. Okay, could I put it in the other one? You could. Sure. I mean, put it in y equals 5 times So if I put it in there, I'm going to get y equals 5 times 2 minus 3. That's 10 minus 3, which is 7. So how do I write my final answer now? 2 comma 7. Gentlemen, can you guys save the conversation for later? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Questions on that? Do you need one more before we do number nine? No, no let's just do number nine. Let's just, just get out of the way. Easy peasy lemons. Okay, other I, than my more vocal friends, which one do we need? Mm. Which one? More friends? Any one of them. Nobody has one they want to do, though? Number eight. Eight? Sure. Eight it is. I consider Mrs. Trigger my blood brother. <laughs> Mrs. Trudeau, do you have a tick, uh, tag? A tick phone tag? What? Do you have a phone tag? I do. Can I borrow it? Uh, not at the moment, but... Like, I really need it. Like, right now. I have a splinter, and it's almost out. And I okay, need okay. It. okay, you're going to have to wait. I can't Oh wait. my gosh, she is so going to die. Use your teeth, Dill. I have to hold this right here. He's He's right now, or else I'm not going to go get it out. He's bleeding out. Okay. <laughs> I need to get y by itself. Well, I need to get something by itself. But I'm looking at this top equation and seeing that y is awfully close to being by itself already. Okay? So, Dylan, sit down. Add 2x to each side here. And so now this equation would read y equals 2x. Okay? Because I don't really need the 0, right? I could write it as 2x plus 0. Go ahead, Tom. Do we have to, like... So that like only check it to get y. Mm -hmm. Can we put it for y? Do we have to write that that we put it in? No. Okay. No. But on a quiz or something, it's helpful for me to see that so that if you make a mistake somewhere, I can give you partial credit for it. But as far as like your homework goes, I don't care. Okay. okay but on a test or quiz, I recommend it. Okay. So now what do I do? Thomas, you want to walk me through this part? What do I do next? Oh, well, did you get it right, Thomas? I've got what y equals. I'm just curious. Yeah, what y equals? Uh huh. Y equals two x. Put two x. So I put two x in uh, for y. For y in the other equation. So I'm putting two x right here. Okay. So now that's going to read five x plus three times two x. equals negative 11. 
Okay, so I put that 2x in for y down here. This can now just become a 6x. So 5x plus 6x equals negative 11. So that's 11x equals negative 11. Divide by 11. And you're going to get negative 1. x is negative 1. Yep. And then I would plug that right back in here where we already have solved for y. So then I would have y equals 2 times negative 1. So y is equal to negative 2. Final answer, negative 1, negative 2. Feeling a little better about this? Yeah, I hope. Well, I'd feel better if we did number 9. All right, let's take a look at number 9, knowing that number 9 is a, is a tough one, okay? Um, so don't stress about it too much if number 9 is the only thing you're stumbling over. We get 1 half x. Um, the quiz, I know for sure there's not. The test, I can't promise there's not any with fractions, but nothing as hard as number nine. Found a water bottle. Okay. What's in there? I don't know. It looks like tea. All right, just set it down. I'll get it. Sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. It is brown. It should be cool. Not funny. That was hilarious. All right. What do I want to get by itself? Yeah, you don't know I'm, not, I'm not getting it for you right now. I'm in the middle of a lesson. Sit down. Sit down. He's obviously in pain. Okay. What do I want to get by itself? Why? Okay. Which why? Oh, what why? Oh, you want to get the one that has nothing around it. Okay. Because it'll just be easier in the end. So this one, guys, refocus. Put that away. I think it's Put the top back on, set it down. <laughs> Not anything we need to concern ourselves with right now. Thank you. I'm going to get this y by itself. How am I going to do it? Oh, you're going to You're going to minus one fourth x. Okay. Put it to the other side. Minus one fourth x. So it'll be positive y equals negative, yeah, negative one fourth x plus 10. It's 10. You got it. Negative one fourth x plus positive 10. Okay, what do I do with it from here? Lucas, what do you think? What am I doing with it from here? Um, you, can, uh, you can take that and plug it up for y. Okay, so I'm taking this whole chunk that y equals and putting it in up here for y. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stick with the fractions for a minute and then we'll eliminate the fractions when we've got one big equation. So, 1 half x plus 1 third and then in parentheses, I'm going to have negative one-fourth x plus 10 equals 5. I'm going to distribute the one-third, and I'm going to stick with fractions for the time being, and then we'll get rid of them in a second. So one-half x. What happens when I do one-third times one-fourth? Times. Multiply straight across. Yeah. So that'd be one times one is one, and one and three times four is twelve, and that will be negative because you have a positive times a negative. So minus one twelfth x. One third times ten I can write as ten over three, because that's really like ten over one times one over three equals five. And now is when I would get rid of these fractions. Okay, now that I've got it in one big equation, I've got everything to simplify as far as I can go. Anyone remember from chapter one how to get rid of those? Yeah, well, you're going to find a common denominator. Okay, and do what with it? Times it by the I'm going to multiply everything in the equation by that common denominator. So four. I've got two, twelve, and three. I need something that they all go into. Six. Twelve. Uh, twelve doesn't go into six. I'm um, pretty sure yeah. it does. 6 goes into 12. 12 does not two. go into 6. Negative 2 goes into negative 2 times. I thought. No, it doesn't. Okay. Multiply by 12. So 12 times 1 half is 6. Tw what's 12 times 1 12? Tammy with me? 1. 12 times 10 over 3, that's 12 times 10, which is 120, divided by 3, which is 40. 
And then don't forget we have to do the 12 times 5 at the end. Okay, so now that looks a little nicer. So we're going to combine them and minus. So now I have 5x plus 40. 40 from both sides. That's right. So 5x equals 20. You are right. X equals 4. Thank you. And I know this looks scary, but it's not going to be too bad with a 1 fourth there. So you're going to say y equals negative 1 fourth times 4 plus 10. 1. Negative 1, because that's a negative, negative 1 fourth, right? So this is negative 1 plus 10, which is 9. And so then your coordinate would be 4, 4 comma 9. <coughs> okay. Questions on that? Okay. Today.